Climbing a flight of stairs can change everything. Coming off a secluded road, I enter another world. This is Hazrat Nizamuddin's Chilla or retreat. It's where the Sufi saint of Delhi actually lived seven centuries ago. It was a monastery where he meditated and held mahfils that were attended, among others, by the great poet and musician Amir Khusro. To this day, it's a place of magic. Unki ruhaniyat ki barkat hai. Ye jinda jaga hai. Aur Aulia Saab ka ru aaj tak bhi is jaga aata hai jata. Jise khuda najar diya hai, wo dekhte hai. Us jamaane mein kya hua ta, usko wo bhi najar aate hai. It's not hard to see why this chilla seems otherworldly. As I walk with Muhammad Anwar, I begin to appreciate what makes this place unique. We stand among tombs of people long gone. This is sacred ground for those seeking eternal rest. And most of all, Hazrat Nizamuddin's chilla is surprisingly quiet, an oasis of peace not far from the madding crowds. This place is right next to one of Delhi's most touristy monuments and is also close to one of Delhi's busiest railway stations. Yet, it is so quiet, so serene, so lovely. The rays of the afternoon sun pierce through the leaves. Then the call for prayers begin and life goes on. This chilla has seen Delhi as it changed through the centuries. The walls of Humayun's tomb stand on one side and the much more modern Damdama Gurdwara sits in another corner. But this little retreat remains enclosed in its own world. <laughs> 